Hello, Talking Points teachers. I'm going to walk you through adding new students and contacts to your brand new Talking Points for Teachers account on Talking Points for Teachers on your free account. So when you have logged in, when you've signed up on the web app at Talking Points talkingpts.org, you will see a dashboard that looks like this. It's pretty empty. It prompts you that step one is to add students and contacts. So you will click here and you'll have two options. You can either add students and contacts manually or invite family members via app code or text message. This method here will show you a code that you can copy and paste um, and send to your families. You can tell them what it is. You can call them. You can um, print it out, send it to them, and they can join in their parents' app if they download the app, or they can subscribe via text message if they would like. And we have PDF flyers that you can hand out or mail to them or send to them however you'd like um, with codes for our most common languages. The easiest way, however, to have families join your classes is to add them yourselves if you already have those phone numbers, whether you gather those from them or your districts, your admin, give those numbers to you from their systems, um, you can add them manually. Now there's a couple different ways you could do that. One is to type them in yourself. So if you only have a few students and you want to just type them in yourself, you can do so quickly um, in the boxes that appear for you. And as you type them in, more, um, more fields will pop up for you. So for instance, I can go ahead and type in my few students if I just have a few to add. The required fields have a red asterisk next to them and if any of them are left empty it will not let you add. Contact name is the only one that is not required. When you're ready to add those few students that you've typed in, as many as 200 is how many you can add to a free account, you can click add. and they've been added to your first class, which will have your name on it. And there you go. Now I typed in a fake phone number, but hopefully the number you've been given will be correct. I'm gonna go back. Another way you can add manually is if you have more students, it's easier if you have a spreadsheet say you have all 200 students that you need to add or something close to that, you can download our Excel sheet or a Google Sheets template. You can open that, which will download just down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open mine. I have 100 students in my class. It's already filled out. I have some parents' names, some I don't, but I do have all the required fields. Student first name, relationship role, their languages, and their phone numbers. So all I have to do is click this first name and highlight all of these students all the way down to the very last one. Right click copy and you'll notice up here at the top we've left a note for you that for students with multiple contacts enter each contact as a separate line so for instance if Abby Zine had a mother and father who wanted to receive talking points messages I would enter Abby twice and her mother and father would both be entered here twice um, separately, but they would enter under her name. Um, so that's something important to remember when using our Excel spreadsheet. So I've copied all of these. When I come back here, I'm going to click into this first box, right click, paste, and it's going to paste all of those names, which I actually had 95 because of those sample boxes, and they have all filled in 
If any of those boxes were actually incomplete, they would pop up red for me and it would show down here that required fields were empty. I would get a notification of that, but it looks like everything is complete and ready to go. So I can click add. I'll wait for these to pulse while it's loading. All 95 of my students have been added without me having to type in every single name. And again, I used fake numbers because this is a practice run for me, but you see how simple it was to add them manually without having to type each one in individually. Now we're going to look at adding students when you are in your Talking Points for Teachers mobile app. I do first want to say, though, that it will be easier to add students on the web app because you do have the capability of copying and pasting from an Excel sheet. So if you do have those larger classes, um, somewhere between 50 and 200 students, you're going to want to use the web app because it just is easier to do something on your computer where you can click a little bit easier rather than doing something on your phone. But um, you can add those students manually on your phone as well. All right, since this is the same account that I used just now on the web, I've already got 95 students in that class that I created, but I am going to create a new class so I can add different students. I'm just going to call it other class. We'll call this fourth grade. You can click add students. Again, you have invite by code. It's that same option. Um, it's loading a code right now that will be a similar code. It will be the same code that you have online and um, a phone number as well as the language codes for those languages for families who want to use SMS. And there's that app code. You can also add manually as we did on the web. So if I want to add a student here. I'll add her contact. I will add. And there we go, one student in that class. I also have the options to add from my phone contacts or since I do have students now in this account that I added on the web, I could pull students from that other class copy them into this class. So now I have five students in this class. So if you would like to create smaller groups from a larger class that you created online, sure, it's very simple to do on your phone. But like I said, if you're creating those larger groups out of nothing, it is a lot simpler to do that on the web. So there you have it, adding students and contacts on your free Talking Points for Teachers 